Math Lesson 71. Welcome everybody. We're happy to see you again. Can everybody say hello? Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Let's begin with our meditation. Good. Our meditation. So we have a seat and show me. Two fingers. Two fingers. Great. And we'll use them to find our heart center. Heart center. Good job. Our other hands open in our laps or on our desks. Good. Take a deep breath with me. And close your eyes. You want to focus on your heart center. Try and relax your body. Calm your mind. And meditate with me. your other hand. Keep focused on your heart center. Keep your breathing nice and slow. More focused on our heart center. More feeling calm and relaxed. We're focused on our heart center. Feel a warm glow of our energy emanating there. See how we feel. Calm and relaxed. Nice job, everyone. We'll slowly open our eyes, come out of meditation together, taking three deep breaths. Ready? One. Two. And three. Nice job. Okay, up on your feet, and we'll do the rest of our warm up together. What do we do first? Stretch up towards the sky, right? Reach for the sky. Ooh, find a nice stretch in your back and in your arms. Yeah, we can bend side to side and backwards. Yep, and forward, very good. Stretch, and then, good. Shake, shake, shake it out, good. And then what? Stretch down towards our toes. Touch your toes, everybody. Yeah, don't bend your knees. 
Touch your toes, everyone. Find a nice stretch in your legs. And then, and then? Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake, shake, shake it out. And then what? Spin. We spin around. How many times? Three times. Three times. First, I want you to spin this way and wiggle as fast as you can. <gasps> Very good, right? So we're wiggling and spinning. Two, I want you to spin the other way and wiggle slow as you can. Slow motion. Very good. And three, I want you to spin and jump. Nice, good. All right, what's the last thing we do together? Jump up and down, right, Nadia? How many times? Three times. Three times. But wait. First, I want you to jump as high as you can and backwards. Good. So really high, backwards. Two, I want you to jump as high as you can on one foot. Good. On one foot, really high. And three, I want you to jump and spin. Very good. So today in math, we're gonna continue talking about measurement. 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 Good, and we are learning how to measure length, length, and height. Yeah, length and height. Good. So when we talk about length, we ask, how long? How long? How long? How long? Good. And the answer can be long, longer, or shorter. shorter. Very good. So when we're talking about height, we ask, how tall? How tall? How tall? And it can be taller or, or shorter. Good. Length and height. So up until this point, we've been doing non-standard measurement. It means we were using items in our classroom, like paper clips and sticky notes, to measure how long and how tall. So today, we're going to go over how to use a ruler. <laughs> it is going to be fun, actually. It is going to be fun. Um, so who remembers what a ruler is? Let me hear you say it. Can you say ruler? Ruler. 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 Good. I'll show you a ruler. This is a ruler. ruler. Yeah. A lot of us probably have a ruler. If you do, you can get it out and take a look at it now. We're going to talk about a ruler today, right? So now today we get to practice measuring length, and height using our ruler, all right? There's a couple things I wanna show you about reading a, rule, a ruler first. Though. Yeah, it's all right, I'll, you can borrow one if you don't have one, no big deal. All right, let's just make a pretend ruler on the board. Yeah, big ruler, right? So, the first thing I want to show you is, and then I'll do Patience, my friends. Patience. Good. Okay, so 
roughly, this is gonna be our ruler for today, okay? The first thing that I wanna point out to you guys is that one side has bigger or longer measurements, right? There's one side that has longer and one that has shorter, okay? It's two different types of measurement. You're gonna see the letters I, in on the big ones. Yeah, the longer ones, you're gonna see the letters I in, stands for inches. We're not gonna worry about those right now. What I want us to work on is C M, all right? C M, this, this is the unit of measurement we are going to use, okay? So for now, I don't want you guys to worry about inches, okay? Don't worry about the big ones. I want us to work on the short ones, all right? So we'll talk a little bit about that. Can you guys say the word centimeter? Centimeter. Meter. Meter. Centimeter. Centimeter. Meter. Good. Centimeter. Centimeter. Good. These are centimeters, right? Centimeter, it looks like this. Actually, I'll write it over here. Centimeter, right? So it's, we abbreviate it CM, right? Centimeter. So when you see CM, it means centimeter. And that is what we are going to use to measure, okay? On our ruler. Yeah, centimeter. Centimeter. Good. Okay, a few things about using our ruler. Let me add some numbers here. all the way to 20, I think. But, so, let's look at, I'll use a different color. Let's say we want to measure the blue line, all right? Just to make sure we all know what we're looking at. That's not gonna work. Pink. Let's, oh, you know what I forgot? I need to mark zero for you guys. So if I was to ask you guys how long is the pink line, what would you say? Six. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see that? We put it up against the ruler. Six. Six. All right? That's how we can measure things. Helps us put it up to a ruler. So it's six and it's centimeters. Centimeter. Yeah, so we would say how long? How long? Six centimeters. Six centimeters. How long? How long? Six centimeters. Six centimeters. Good, let's try another one. If... Mm, nice straight line. All right, so what if I said, how long? That's right, we look at our ruler and measure, right? 11, so we'd say, how long? 11 centimeters. Centimeters, good. How long? How long? 11 centimeters. 11 centimeters. Very good, good. All right, the next thing I wanna show you is sometimes it's not always exact. What if we are measuring something and it looks a little bit more like this? Three. Yeah. 
So, but what I want to show you is, see how it, it meets in the middle, right? Sometimes it's not always going to be exact. But what we want to do is find whichever one is closer, yeah? Whichever one is closer. In this case, we're going to use three, all right? So point being, I want you guys to know it's okay to do near, right? Not exact. So for this one, I would want us to say three. We would say three, okay? I'm going to give you another rounding example. Let's say that we start here and we go to there. All right? Six. Yeah, see? It doesn't hit exactly six or seven, but what, what is the shorter distance? Is this shorter or is this shorter? Right? Yeah, the shorter distance is to six, means it's closer. We want the shorter distance, so we would use six. All right, we'll do one more, because I feel like I'm confusing you all. All right, let's do one more rounding. So what if we had, I'll do a short one here. What if we had, two, 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 here. Oh, just a short one. Yeah, so it doesn't hit exactly, it doesn't hit two, but is it a shorter distance here or here, right? Two. It's closer to two, so in this case we would use two, all right? So sometimes it's not exact, but we want to use whole numbers, we want to round, okay? And remember, with your ruler, we're using centimeters. centimeters. I don't want us to use inches right now, all right? We're not gonna use this side. We're only gonna focus on centimeters. Okay, one more thing I wanna demonstrate for you guys. So let's say if we're going to measure how long the pencil is, do I put it uh, here? No. no. Do, I, do I put it here? No. no. Do I put it here? Yes. Pardon, do I put it here? Yes. Yes, yes, good. So it sounds like you guys are familiar, but it's important that we, we start at zero, right? We start at zero on our ruler. If we are going to measure, we don't start in the middle of our ruler, right? That would make us do math and it's complicated. Always start at zero to measure, all right? So where would, how long is this pencil, what would you say? Comes out to like right here. Is that two or three? Two. It's closer to two, would be two. So we would say two centimeters. Two centimeters. On our big ruler here, all right? So it's important we start at zero when we measure, all right? And we're using centimeters. Centimeters. Okay? So the first thing I want you all to do is practice. I want you to show me that you know how to read the ruler, okay? So for this worksheet, we've got our very own sets of rulers, right? Here's rulers. We're not, we're looking at length, and down here we're looking at height, all right? So there's lines on the worksheet that you already need to measure, okay? So what we do is we look at the ruler, Say, how long is the purple line? We read it, and we write our answer here. All right. We'll do the first one together, but I want you to have the worksheet in front of you. So I'll give you a minute to get it, and then join us back here for the example. Mm -hmm. Put this away. Welcome, thank you. You're welcome, let me see. No. Okay. Okay, so we're looking at our worksheet with rulers on it. It's got centimeters, CM centimeters, right? So what we're gonna do is measure on our rulers the purple lines on your worksheet, all right? So let's look at the first one together. You have a line that looks like 
this, I think. Yeah, it's purple. Yeah, you're going to want to put your name on it, too. You all have a purple line on your worksheet. So how many centimeters does it look like the purple line? How many? Nine. Nine, yeah. It would be, so if we said how long? Nine centimeters. And then you all have a answer that looks like this. Right? There's centimeters. So we would write our answer. How many? Nine. Nine centimeters. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we can do that for length as well as height. Just using it the same way. All right. So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to finish the worksheet and then join us back here and we'll move on to the next activity. It's good? Good, yeah. And when it's not exact, remember you do the closer. Exactly, very good. What is this? 14. Good. Ooh, I don't know. Let's look here. Do you think it is this shorter or is this shorter? Which one's shorter? Here. So it's closer to 14. Here. Where's your eraser, pumpkin? Oh, lordy. Okay. Do, do, do. All right, see, look here. It hits the roller right here. Longer, shorter. Yeah, so it's closer to 14. 14. Yeah. When it's in the middle, see which one it's shorter to, closer to. I'll show you. Okay, see? Oh, it's this long. Okay, so look here. This far to 13, this far to 14. Which one's shorter? Shorter. 14. Yeah, it's shorter to 14, right? which means it's closer. Yeah, let's look. Let's see. Which one's shorter? Shorter. So it's closer to 10. Good. good, very good. Good, easy, right? We can do it. Easy. Yeah, we're going to do that in a second. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Just one second. Hello. Look, let's read our ruler. Okay, so we're looking at the purple line, right? Where does it hit the ruler? How long is it? How long? Yeah, nine. So here, you had it right. You're going to write it right there. Yeah, you're going to write nine right there. Thank you. Yeah, very good, too. Two centimeters long. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right? We're looking at height, so it's the same thing. Just look at it this way. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
So same thing with height, right? We're just looking at it this way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, right? The ruler still goes this way, so we kind of have to look at it this way. Oh, thank you. Very good. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am, you are finished. Thank you. Okay, great job, everybody. Hopefully that was fairly simple. Just want to make sure we know how to read our ruler. So now it's our turn to get to practice, right? We're actually going to use our rulers to measure some things around our classroom, all right? So everyone's going to need a ruler. We can partner up and share if we need to, but who has a ruler here in my class? Got one? Okay, well show me, show me if you do. It's okay, if not everybody has one, we can just get in small groups. I just want you to be able to look at a ruler. You can always just look at the one I drew too. So let's take a look at our rulers. I want you to show me centimeters, right? Find the centimeters. They're the smaller ones. Look for the CM. I want to make sure you recognize centimeters. See the little CM? CM. This is meter. Very good. Yeah, centimeters. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, see, look. See how these are longer and these are shorter. We want shorter. See, look at the little, see the CM right there? Centimeters. You want these ones. You want the shorter ones. Show me centimeters. Mm -mm, these are inches, right? We don't want these. Look here. Smaller, shorter. See the little CM? Centimeters. All right? Very good. Centimeters, these ones. All right? They're smaller. See these? Longer. We don't want those. We want centimeters. Okay? Hi there. Show me centimeters. You know which one's centimeters? Don't just measure my fingers. <laughs> Look, Pew. These are, see how these are longer? These are inches. We don't want those. I want you to use centimeters, okay? See the little CM? CM, centimeters, all right? Good, so now that we've identified centimeters on our own ruler, this is what we will use to measure. And remember, when you're measuring, hey, look here. Do we start here on our ruler no. to measure? No. Right? I want to measure my pencil. Do I, do I start here? No. Where do I start? Zero. At zero, right? We put the end of our object at zero, always. Always start at zero to measure, all right? Whether it's length or height, we're always gonna start. Whether it is length or height, we are always gonna start at zero, okay? So now, here's the fun part. We get to practice using our rulers. I'm gonna pass back out the worksheet she had earlier. On the back of them, I'll show you. On the back of them is this fun worksheet, all right? So what we're gonna do is take our ruler and we're gonna go measure them. How long, how tall, in centimeters. All right, centimeters. So I wanna point out, actually let me demo. Just to be clear, I don't want you measuring the paper. That's not what I want. I want you to go find, look, here's a marker, here's a marker, right? I want you to measure this. Yeah, I don't want you measuring the picture on the paper. I want you to measure the actual object, okay? We're gonna find it in the room, measure it with our ruler, okay? So I'm gonna pass back out the worksheets. Everyone get your ruler, and then we're gonna spend the rest of the lesson running around the room and measuring things with our ruler, all right? So have fun, and then join us back here when you're finished for goodbye.
Okay, wait, your name's already on it, let's see. You see yours? Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, wait. So sorry. Good. So our nicknames on this side too? We're gonna do the first one together as a class to make sure we understand. Okay, so look at your first, look at your first picture. What is that? Pencil. Pencil. Yeah, let, find the pencil on your worksheet. Pencil. That's the one we're gonna do first, all right? So all of you, take your own pencil, right? And measure how long using your ruler. Good, perfect, good. All right, now write it in the spot. Write it in the correct line. Like I'll measure, measure your pencil. Pencil. Good. So you know where to write it? Two teen. What's two teen? Twelve. Twelve. Two teen. What? Yes, Pat, that's perfect. It's 14 centimeters. 14. Yeah, centimeters. Show me your pencil. Show me. Look, here's your pencil. Start at zero. How many? How long? Hmm. How long is it? Um, 13. Yeah, that's 13. 13 centimeters long. All right, look, your pencil, right? Start at zero, all right? And we're going to measure. How long? Yeah, 17. Well, we're gonna measure the sharpener. The glue, the, look here. Look, the picture is what you, sharp, what you measure. All right, so next picture is our sharpener, right? Like this. Sharpener. So now you get to measure how long is the sharpener on your ruler. So show me, how long? It's close, yeah. Yeah, two, good. <laughs> well measure how long using centimeters. Perfect, just like that. Good. Do you have a sharpener? One more time. Do you have one of those? Did you measure how many? Two. Two. Good. Oh, very nice. Two. Two. Yes, sir. That is two. Two. Mm -hmm. No, baby, look at the picture. This is what we want to. Can I borrow that, please? Thanks. I'll bring it back. Right? See this, how this matches this, right? We measured pencil here. Now here we measure this. So let's see how long. Ooh, ooh. Two. Two, that's right. So two here. Welcome back everybody. Hopefully we, are com we have completed our worksheets. This is one of my favorite examples. I am so proud of everyone for doing such a great job measuring things around our classroom and then getting to decorate our worksheet. So thank you all for working so hard. That's gonna wrap up this lesson. Can everybody say goodbye? Goodbye!
Goodbye. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.